Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of At Night With Me. Today I'm showing off kind of an interesting one I found to be somewhat mysterious. Um, <laughs> the reason being, because it doesn't really seem to have a name of any kind. Um, I'm going to show it to you. This is from Boria. Okay, the Tuscaloosa only brand, as far as I know. So maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've only ever seen it really in North Forks, um, which is right across the river, so on the north bank of the Black Warrior River in the Tus city of Tuscaloosa on the south bank. So to, for further clarification, that's something like a, a duck or something flanked on either side by two lions and there's the sun. But as I look, there's not really any other, like there's not really a name that I'm seeing. So this one is going to be, it's not a, I don't want to say mystery blend. It's not a mystery blend. It's, it's, it's got a name, but I don't know what it is. Let's see if I can feel this off. Maybe there's a name under it. There's not. There's not a name under that. So we're going to try this out. And again, this is in that four pack. Okay, we're gonna try it out and see what we can get from it. Some things that, you know, I guess the fact that it doesn't have a name makes it more interesting too. Or at least it's not shown to be on there. So, Let's try this, and let's see where where this goes. It's going to be fairly interesting, I think. All right, <clears throat> let's try this out, man. See what we got. Again, good pull. Huh? Very light. This is going to be a solid wrap for us, you know, as you can see, or a solid binder, so all one color. This is. Got a very earthy taste. It's not the, the deepest earthy texture or taste we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Hit some spice notes, but that's kind of the spice is a little bit different, a tad bit different from on that last one. And thank you for the
the spines, like I said, is going to be a little bit different on this fella. Kind of like a mid-range earthiness. Okay. Again, it's going to burn. That though, it's burning really good too. That's a good sign. Someone took care of this. Someone took good care of this, this while it was growing. That shows again that it's a higher quality cigar. At least I think it is. The spice right now is very light, a very light spice, but it is different. I can tell it's a little bit different than what I've smoked so far. It's a good taste on the palate afterwards. Yeah. This is going to be different. The earthy taste is different than what I've had on any cigar I've smoked on this channel. It is. It's a different type of earthiness. I dig this. That's burning really good. That's like super white. I gotta see this right now. Get a flake all flat out. Fine ash. It is producing fine ash. That's a good sign. That means it burns really well. So you're getting something of quality here. I always look at that because I've noticed that not all cigars do that. Or at least not that I've seen. Because, I mean, it'll all get white. But, I mean, this is white, white. So, I'm leaning towards this being a higher quality leaf. Smells good. Let me come back and give you my thoughts after I finish this bad boy. Hey guys, I'm back. This cigar is a very good smoke. That's a good smoke. It's going to be some very light pepper, but it's, it's different than the pepper I've had so far. Um, I think that's what really makes it stand out. Very light, earthy, and... Uh, some peppery notes to it. I think you're really missing out. Give this fella a try. I'm going to show you if I can find it, that label again since you can see it. Because I couldn't find a name on it. Okay. That's what you need to get. Now they sell that, I think, individually too. So you don't have to buy the four pack. The four pack's going to be 50 something dollars. But I wanted to leave that with you so that you could, you know, see it. Again, support the home team if you're from Tuscaloosa, man. Uh, you know, pull for this brand. All right? Awesome. Good to see you.